something important has come to my attention. A new game review has finally resurfaced after early July. And what the game might be, you may ask? Oh, 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 here we go. Dr. Muto. Yes, Dr. Muto. Is this game a hidden gem or a crappy rock that should have been left underground? Well, let's find out. Now, Dr. Muto begins with a kind of interesting doctor sleeping, remembering his, uh, you know, past and doing that weird sleeping thing. You know, all the great memories of burning down a science fair. But, uh, since we only got, like, eight minutes, let's, uh, kind of skip ahead to the main story. So then, after all those, uh, happy childhood memories, the news comes on to talk about Dr. Muto's latest device that he's made to, uh, benefit the planet. But apparently, what actually happens is, uh, the planet, well, it gets screwed over, and, uh, why don't I show you the video clip to show you, uh, what actually happened. And of the energy crisis. Yikes! Yeah, this game's so edgy, bro. Just blew up the planet. Yeah. <laughs> and then there's the main villain. I mean, it's pretty obvious already. I know I just spoiled him, but I mean, like, if you're laughing at like a planet getting blown up, he's obviously the big baddie. So Dr. Muto, he goes to get some nice food when, uh, his, uh, weird minion guy just comes in and interrupts him and is like, Oh, hey, you, you know the plant's, like, blown up and everything. It's like, nah, shut up, I want my food. But, um, yeah. So, um, that's basically the story. Dr. Muto has to save his, you know, home world, Planet Midway. I know, crazy, it's named after the devs. Ooh. Big fourth wall break. But uh, now that we're done with the story, let's get to the gameplay. Now, Dr. Muto, the game itself is mostly all about, uh, you know, mutating and mixing with animals. And I thought that was a pretty cool concept. It mixed platforming with the whole mutation thing. And, you know, it was proceeded pretty good, but it's pretty annoying with the fact that, you know, you gotta make sure to get all the critters, because what if you don't get all the critters and you get to, like, a, you know, a zone where you need that mutant, then you're screwed over, you know? So, it's kind of a sucky thing to happen, but that's just a minor nitpick. That shouldn't ruin the entire game. All in all, I think that this game is pretty good, but I want to talk a little bit more about it, get more in depth with you guys since we got like tons of minutes left. So, Dr. Muto, how about I explain all the mutations? The mutations you can get is the mouse, the spider thingy, I don't know if it's actually called that, the uh, flying squirrel, I'm pretty sure that's what it was. But, uh, you can upgrade it to a bat. I will explain that in a minute. And then, after the flying squirrel, uh, there is the ape. And I'm pretty sure there's a shark. Yep, there's the shark. And, yeah, I gotta admit, that's like a good variety of mutations. So, that would give me a good score for this game. A good variety of mutations. And some other noteworthy things I'd like to talk about with the game is the, the well, planets. The planets are pretty cool. I like that the first planet is like a junkyard. It's like literally a junkyard planet. The second planet is an ocean planet. The third planet is like, uh, it's like kind of like a floating city. And then the last planet is Bernatol's lair. But I don't want to spoil anything specific. And one thing I've noticed with this game is, it's got a lot of dialogue, too. But it doesn't ruin the entire game, so don't freak out over it. Pfft, OV. Yeah, sorry about that. But, um, 
Yeah, it's kind of like collectathonish too, because you collect these fragment pieces that you use to fix the planet. So, yeah, it's a pretty good game all in all. So, what's my opinion on this game for a score? Uh, I'd say like about 7.5 out of 10 if I give it any score. I think it's a really good game, and you know, if you got a PS2 or an Xbox or a GameCube or an old PS3 or an Xbox 360 or you, you get my point, a Wii and crap, then check out this game if it's cheap on eBay. If it's a lot of money on eBay, I won't waste your time because it's not like the greatest game ever, but you know, it's a good game to give a try. So, yes, I would recommend this game. Um, how about we get to the closing credits now? Well, it seems as though this game is technically a hidden gem. So I will give this game, the Devin the Retro Gamer, approval rating. And here's how I approve stuff. Wait. Yeah, I'm sorry. Here's how I will approve it. Watch. You're my bro, y'all. You're my bro pile now. Yep. I'll make sure to put it in the pile of games that's not perfect, but it's good, you know. 7.0 and over are good games, so, you know, I just wanted to let that out. I hope you guys enjoyed... I hope you guys enjoyed this review, and I am out. Peace.